Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do the drawing of a cos graph. If you know how to draw a sin graph and you know how to do the adjustments, everything after that becomes very easy because drawing the cos and tan graph is just repetition of the sin graph. If I give you the following graph, f of x is equal to cos theta over 2. Now what does this mean? This means I am saying cos half theta. Where in the previous video you had done sin 2 theta. If you look at the way we wrote it, if we wrote half theta, then I am applying the same concept. Now theta over 2, another way of writing it is cos half theta. So let's draw the graph cos theta over 2. Okay. If you look at the table, the table is your standard cos graph. You should know this from your grade 10 work. Now what is our adjustment? Our adjustment is half. It is timesing by theta. So what am I going to do? I'm going to divide. Can you see? I'm dividing by a half. Dividing by a half. Dividing by a half. Now, if you wanted to, and you worked with this one, which is how it would come and what I would prefer, okay? Then you would simply say, okay, I'm timesing by 2. I'm timesing by 2. I'm timesing by 2. Timesing by 2. Timesing by 2. They both the exact same thing. Minus 360 divided by half is the exact same thing as saying, minus 360 times 2. So if you look at it, however you want to look at it, the idea was, if I am busy with that adjustment, it is always affecting my x. That was the first thing. What does it do to my x? It multiplies or divides. But x works opposite. So if I have a relationship of multiplication, then I am going to divide. If I have a relationship of divide, then I am going to multiply. Now both the questions are exactly the same questions. What I am trying to show you is be careful. If they give it to you in this form, you can't say, hey, I'm going to divide by 2. That is like a careless mistake. It is dividing by 2 already. The opposite would be to times it by 2. If you were doing this, it's a half times theta. You can't say, okay, you know what? I'm going to times it by a half. It's already timesing by a half. The idea is to do the opposite. So if it times by half, I'm going to divide by half. If it's dividing by 2, I'm going to times by 2. These are the exact same questions given in two different ways. They just look different, but they're the same thing. Let's continue. Minus 270 divided by half or times it by 2. Now, if you look, this looks very large, minus 720 to 720. But they will always give you a restriction. Now, I'm going to draw the graph, but I'm going to draw it two ways. I'm going to first do the restriction of minus 360 to 360 degrees. Okay? So, we're going to draw a Cartesian plane. If you look at this specific one, you can say, okay, your standard points are 90. And you can times it by 2 and say, okay, I want to work with 180. But because 90 falls into 180, 90 is a factor of 180, you can keep the 90s, okay? When the number you're working with is not a factor of 90 or it's becoming too big, 90 seems so big, you're working with 30 and now your first point is 90, then you start adjusting it. But if 90 is within your, um, in your factor limit, then it's fine. So let's go 90, 180. 270, 360, and I'm stopping at 360 because they don't want me to go further than that. All right, and then I'm going to go from minus 1 to 1. Now, this limit that I'm drawing, I'm going to do the minus 360 to 360, which means that I'm looking at this area here. Can you see? I'm not interested in the others. 
So, what are my points? My point is minus 360 and minus 1. Then I have got minus 180 and 0. And then I have got 0 and 1. And then I have got 180 and 0. And then I have got 360 and minus 1. Look what happens. So, that is your graph. Now, let us say we are doing the same graph, okay? but they change our limit. They tell us, listen, we want the limit to be um, from minus 180 to 180 degrees. Now, if you look, minus 180 is at this point, right? So, we have minus 180 and 0. Then we have 0 and 1 and we got 180 and 0. So, the only parts you will draw is the following. Can you see? It looks so incomplete. It looks like, what? It just looks like a little mountain. It's undone. But if they give you that restriction, you cannot go beyond this. Even if you want it to look better and you feel, hey, you know, I should continue it. Huh? And you go. As soon as you do that, it's wrong. As soon as you do that, it's incorrect. So, make sure that you follow their instructions. Right. Let us draw a graph that says f of x is equal to cos theta plus 45 degrees. Now, again, remembering from your sin graph that if I'm adding 45 degrees, then what am I doing to my x value? My x value, I am going to do the opposite which is subtract. Okay, We know the standard points of a cos graph, the x and y. What am I doing? I am subtracting 45 degrees to my x. So, every one I am subtracting 45 degrees. What you need to start learning is, okay, I am giving you a limit of minus 180 to 180 degrees. So, already you should see, but listen, right? They want from minus 180 to 180. That is your old one. If I subtract 45, minus 45 here, I'm going to exceed it. If I go here minus 180, 180 minus 45, I'm going to be a bit under it. But why you should do that is, that will tell you, listen, you don't need to go and calculate every one. Because it's not in your limit. You need to do what's in your limit. So, why go and do excess work? Okay. So, if we calculate minus 180 minus 45 is minus 225. Minus 90 minus 45 is minus 135. Then we have minus 45. Here we have 45. Here we have 135. Now, let's draw a Cartesian plane. Now, how do we decide? what is our coordinates going to be. Now, I discussed it in the previous video where the best option is to use this limit. So, we are going to make it 45. If you look, they told us from minus 180 to 180. So, we know we have to stop around this point and we have to stop at this point. Now, you can't draw a line to say, hey, you know, I must stop there. Okay, you will be penalized again. So, do not do that. I put it in to show you your limit, but you mustn't put it in. Alright, so what is our first coordinate that we're going to plot? We are not going to plot this one because it is minus 225 and minus 1. It exceeds our limit. The next one is minus 135 and 0. So minus 135 and 0. And then we've got minus 45 and 1. And then we've got 45 and 0, 135 and minus 1. If we join the dots, but it is not complete. Why is it not complete? Because they want till minus 180 and till 180. So all you do is you take the original equation. And we put in minus 180 wherever the theta or the x was. So our answer is 
minus 0 comma 7. So, we could say it is around here and you continue the line. Now remember that last point is not on your table and then for this one we are going to do the same thing. So, we have 180 plus 45 and we got it as minus 0 comma 707 again minus 0 comma 7. So, it is around here but look now it is going slightly up. Ok, so pay attention to the limit that is important ok, do not exceed it. Thank you for watching.